This week on Sportsman TV, Alien versus Predator. Oh, uh, catfish. Yeah, it's a, found out it's a big catfish, too. <laughs> That's the kind of catfish they have at Venice. I think it's gonna be one of them red cats, I think. Fish on back here. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take many of these to be white. <laughs> Another big cat. I love these bulls. I do too. I do too. They're so fun and they like to bite. Nice. Oh, yeah. You know when your second cast is, I don't know, 15 pounds? I... <laughs> yeah, he's probably like 20 pounds. 20 pounds? Yeah, you, second cast, you catch a 20 pounder? Yep. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, another. Okay. We got an official weight of 22 pounds. 22 pounds. Did you? You better check your pulse. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely recommend bringing good equipment though. If you're gonna spend a day with these fish, you want good line, you want a good. Yeah. Now you find them to be a pretty hardy fish? Oh yeah, very hard. I mean, all these fish will make it back without oh, yeah. any. Uh... Not a problem. Every now and then when you throw them back, I'll just watch them because they'll get disoriented. And if they but float up. But typically they will float up, right? If there's gonna be a problem, if, you need yeah, to oh, go yeah. back in. And that's all you gotta do is tap them with a lure or hit them with your net and they'll Get roll them back. Yeah, down. just hard for them to roll over, so. But yeah, very hardy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at this, huh? Look at these fish, how healthy. Beautiful fish, beautiful. Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. If you want to be like these anglers, we might have a star winner, folks. Then you only need two things a CCA star entry and a bit of luck. Because if you don't enter, you could miss out on over $500,000 in prizes, including a new Chevy Silverado, over 25 divisions, including a new bank fishing, ladies' division, and Louisiana Sportsman's bonus prize of $10,000 in cash. Anyone can win, but you must have a star entry. Register today at CCAStar.com. The Park family and our team has been handcrafting Blue Wave boats since 1992. Blue Wave's foundation is built on knowing what's important in every aspect that matters, from speed, quality, performance, and features built into every boat. Blue Wave boats are custom built with the highest standards, with everything you need to make your day on the water a success for generations to come. We specialize in building high quality, custom performance fishing boats. The original Sportsman Cool Breeze shirt has been greatly improved. This new version has a moisture activated cooling technology, which actually turns your sweat into cooling power. Ventilated mesh sides add extra breathability. It's UPF rated and antimicrobial. It comes in five different colors and is now also available in short sleeve. Get yours now at forsportsman.com. Sportsman, it's who we are. I'm 
one's alive. Man. No, oh, that's, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah. Oh yeah. They'll I was pull like, you. He came on side. The... He seen that. He seen that boat and said, "Oh, I know that boat." <laughs> the only way to come to it is with a charter cat, because they got all the equipment. The other deal is they keep up with the hot spots. The guy comes every day. He gonna know where they're at. That's it. Well, I find it's a lot cheaper. You know, you go buy a boat. The average fisherman, you know, that's not super serious is probably fishing maybe once a month, twice a month. That's at it. that. When well, you add it all up and you come out way up. And we just came right on out here and got in the middle of them. <laughs> oh, fish on in the back. Uh -oh. All right. Yep. If he angles to the back, you're gonna have to go to. There you go. You're good. But if he's cutting it off towards the motor, then you're gonna have to run to the back and go around it. To me, it's a little dirty. Yeah. We just come right on out here and went to catch them. Uh -huh. Where a lot of people would skip, they're like, oh, it's not any good today. The river's messed it up. Well, basically today, you know, we went out of the Venice area on the Mississippi River, and uh, we crossed the river and went out on the east side. That part of the Gulf is, you know, pretty flat and shallow. A uh, bunch of passes go out on the east side of the river. Uh, the water was actually a little dirty, but basically we were targeting oil slicks. Captain Buddy said that there, you know, there were a lot of pogies or men hiding in the area, and, you know, they give off an oil slick in the water, and when those, you know, big redfish are feeding on them, and they're oily fish, it comes to the top, so it leaves a slick. It's kind of like a place to cast, you know, it's like casting out a grass mat or, you know, casting out a piece of wood. You can target it when you can see the slick. Oh, that's a beauty. Boy, he came right to the top. That big sucker, that's crazy. I don't think he's a, he, oh yeah, he's he's about to take off, I'm telling you. I'm about to say, he's not, not nowhere near, near ready. Yeah. <laughs> Start there. Ooh. That's so awesome. Yeah, he's, he's freaking huge. power. He had it all. Boy, this is a pretty fish. Got a lot of spots on him. Big. Yeah, a lot of character. Yeah. So, but um, they got pretty cool little marks on their tail sometimes. Sometimes I had a heart. Yeah. He's a he's a whopper here, bro. Yeah. This is the type of fish I'll try to get somebody to mount it. If they, you know, interested in doing a mount. Oh my gosh. Then you don't have to kill the fish. <laughs> All right, yeah. Just remember when you net these fish, they're huge. You don't want to break a net, so you want to kind of look at this big old beast here. Wow, look at the markings on it. Oh Lord. At that point, if you either decide to release it if you think he's going to die, or you can bring it home and break out a chainsaw and use it for some fish stew or something like that wow yep good old cubio i love to keep one every now and then and chop it up oh man that's beautiful huh? i caught a redfish on my second cast and that pretty much set the pace for the day <laughs> I, mean, I mean one time i counted to three or four before i caught one but pretty much it was every two to three casts, you know, you had on a redfish that was anywhere. I want to think the small one was probably 18-ish and the biggest one, you know, was 30 plus. I mean, it was just, it was in, and I'm talking about pounds, not inches. I mean, it's, it was pretty incredible. And every boat around us, I would look up. Sometimes, I, there was a boat close to us, I noticed one time, there were four of them hooked up at one time. We doubled and tripled, you know, a couple times. I mean, it was just, it never ceases to amaze me how good the fishing is in that area. You know, basically, I mean, you could basically call it a big orgy. I don't think you want to be sad, but I just thought that'd be a good, you know, they're all getting together, you know, it's like a big college party. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they just drinking and rubbing around on one another and, and eating. You know how, you know, you put a bunch of college people together and they have too much to drink, they start overeating. And I mean, it's just a good time. <laughs> Love was in the air. Dollar me. That's a stud there. You know, when I'm looking where my line went in the water and then I see his tail, <laughs> I'm looking at the distance between uh -huh. the, and my line <laughs> and where his tail came up. <laughs> you know, the deal is, I don't know if they ever really figured out that they're hooked. <laughs> you know, because he stopped and shook his head right. like ain't nothing going on. Right. Like, you know, he's like, what is that? Something in my mouth. Pogies coming up, popping. They're never far from him. That's <laughs> awesome, isn't it? Yeah, you got to tighten up that drag a little bit, tighten it up. 
I know I said the males, but the females actually are larger. They grow a lot faster. But yes, they, they're both big, aren't they? Oh, they're both big. You Healthy see them fish. bass hands always kissing? You gotta be careful in that salt water. <laughs> yeah. Somebody get your lip. <laughs> yeah, yeah those, they'll lock down on you for sure. On, as soon as they hit 26, 27 inches. Yeah, like, like with mullet, I mean, um, yeah, like, like crack cra crab. Yeah, exactly. They fish in those deep holes. Ew. But out here, man, we just throw plastic and Get something bright. Feet. Yeah, that. Oh, That's look at that. One. Woo, look at that. See those crushers in there? Everything in there is, you know, angled in. So as soon as they grab a mullet, I mean, they can put a fish in their mouth as, you know, as big as the opening. And they'll, they'll put every bit of it in there. But once it gets in there, everything's angled. It's not coming out. But look at the teeth on these fish. See, a lot of people don't think they have big teeth. But look, you pull them back. And look, when they go to bite like a shark, they come out. Oh, they're sharp too. I know firsthand, trust me. And I guess they will eat anything they can get in their mouth. They can eat, they'll eat anything. They'll eat other redfish. I mean, they just, they don't care. Trout, just, red, oh, just a beast. Here at Bowie Outfitters, we know that bow hunting is a year round pursuit of perfecting your game. That's why we operate a full indoor archery range, stock our shelves with the best accessories on the market, and offer a service and repair shop. We carry top brands like Hoyt, Bowtech, PSE, Matthews, Bear, Barnett, Mission, Ten Point, and more. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. These are my Strike King S11s. Get your own. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. This is Kyle. Kyle genuinely enjoys his job, sometimes. What Kyle really enjoys is fishing. That's why he logged onto LASaltwater.com to find a Louisiana charter captain. It was here in Louisiana that Kyle had the best fishing day of his life. Kyle's charter captain helped him catch the most fish he's ever caught, ever. So do what Kyle did. Find your charter captain on LASaltwater.com today. Louisiana Charter Boat Association is the trade organization that represents the charter for hire fishing industry in Louisiana. Uh, there's two things we really do. First, we protect our industry. So we're very active on legislation and policy that affects our industry. And then the second thing we really focus on is promoting our industry. So that's not only getting people excited about fishing in Louisiana, but really getting out there with the best guides that they can find and having a trip of a lifetime. Our website is lasaltwater.com and we like to think it's a really great resource to help people kind of simplify the process of finding a good, reliable guide. It doesn't have to be a headache trying to find the right guide for you. We try to make it easy. You can search our site for captains by their name, particular species, particular areas you're interested in. That's the cool thing about going with a charter captain, somebody who fishes every day, you know, knows the weather, knows the tide, knows when things change, you know, maybe you know, yesterday maybe we needed to be on the west side of the river, but with the conditions we had today, the east side was the deal. And rather than, you know, making a trip down there, driving all the way to Venice and just taking a chance and going in the blind, it's, it's cool to have a charter captain to go with to take you right out there and catch the fish. Because his deal is, you know, he gets paid to put his clients on the fish every day. That's what he does. It's his job. We got hooked up, man, releasing them. Yeah, I'm trying to slow them down. 
Oh, Lord. Fish is out there. I'm about to get that other boat to net him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Call my buddy and tell him to net this fish. Wow. I mean, man. This is the reason you go to lasaltwater.com. Oh, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the other one taking off on top of the water. Oh, man. Yo, boy, this is a monster, I'm telling you. Wow. Slide on this side. Oh, man. That's a little puppy, girl. Yeah, a little puppy. <laughs> Just an 18 pounder. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They must come out of the womb at like 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, what are we throwing? We got a popping cork. I'd use a liter, probably about. 30 pound fluorocarbon, just got a quarter ounce jig head, just however, you know, heavy you feel like throwing, I throw a quarter because you got a weighted hook. And uh, this leader, you know, will allow a little bit of stretch for these fish. I throw 30 pound braid and they love these corks. I mean, some people, you know, more traditional, they like the tight line or whatever it is, but these corks are very effective. The fish love them, create some noise, gets their attention, and I mean, they explode on it. You know, we can throw top water baits. We can throw tight line spinners, but these corks seem to be the most productive way to catch them, I find. The rods we throw in is mostly, I, you know, most of the time I'm using seven foot medium action rods. I use braided line. You don't have to use braid, but I like braid. I'm using a 30 pound test braid. And uh, like I said, these are, it's a medium action pole because we fish in trout sometimes. And down here, you never know when you can hook up onto a bull. So. You know, having one rod that's a little versatile is the key. But, you know, you can come out here and target these big fish and bring heavy gear, and it's fun. You can reel them in with it. But, like I said, there's nothing like this light action stuff right here. This is about a six foot nine medium action TFO rod. And you want to make sure you try to get a pretty good reel because if not, these reds will just tear them apart. And this you do strata. recommend using braid because it, it it holds up a little bit. It holds up a lot better. Because if you had mono just stripping in and out exactly. of these rods, it messes up the line. That's it, you know. I back, I back these reels with a little bit of mono in the beginning and then I put braid. Sometimes I'll put a little fluorocarbon leader on it like I have here, and it's, it's game on. Oh, isn't that something? Water, yeah. So like I said, you got that cooler water coming from up north, even though it's not freezing up there, but it's definitely cooler temperatures. There's a bruiser. He just, boy, I mean, look at the girth. <laughs> I know. Oh yeah. Now see, that's what makes a heavy fish, man. You know, he's got the length, but he's got the girth all the way from the head all the way back. See, he's been eating a lot. Oh man. Just a beautiful fish. I don't know, I need a break. <laughs> the deal is that that's the other thing with catching a bull red. You know, you catch one, let's say every two or three casts like today, but it's, you know, realistically, it's at least three to five minutes, sometimes as much as 10 minutes to land one on the tackle we were using. You know, because basically you're using, you know, speckled trout tackle, bass tackle, you know, 30 pound braided line, we were using a fluorocarbon leader. You can catch them on giant tackle, and they pull hard on big tackle also, but they're just so light tackle friendly. You know, they'll attack a topwater bait. You know, they're, they're great for throwing an artificial. I mean, they'll hit cut bait, dead bait. You know, they're a very user friendly fish. And uh, it, it, it always seems like the more of them you put together, the more aggressive they are. Things like an alligator when they surface. Oh man, yeah, he dove down. You pulling up on that line, you know, you don't know what it is, and all of a sudden, right. oh, that big sucker just. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, by law, you're allowed to keep one over. You know, every now and then we'll keep one for somebody who just has to bring it in. And, you know, like I said, the meat is not bad, it's just. A lot harder to clean, that's for sure. But these are your, these are your big uh, reproducers here, you know. And I guess if you had someone who uh, it's just take a picture and take some measurements, and you could have one, you, you know, can have, have a replica made. Somebody Absolutely, from... we have a company that does it for us, and I mean they are awesome. 
Well, you know, basically the fish we're catching today were broodstock. You know, that's the fish that's replenishing our redfish, you know, in the marsh. The ones that we eat, you know, the smaller ones, these are the, the males and the females that do all that spawning. You know, redfish are, are pretty good size, you know, 12 to 15 pound at least when they become sexually mature. And uh, these fish that we're catching today were big breeders. And those fish were in that area, they're getting ready for the spawn. You know, they're gonna spawn over the next couple months, you know, as the summer gets later and fall progresses. And so that's the fish that it's very important to put back. Uh, yeah, you can keep one every now and then if you just needed to eat one. You, you, you know, you can't eat them that big, but that 16 to 20 inch redfish is the preferred table fare if you're gonna eat redfish. It is best to put those big ones back. Gotta love it, babe, gotta love it. You know, you see all these slicks right here and you see, you can't see a lot of the bait, but it's obvious you can see the slicks, which is created from these fish eating all these oily fish. So there you go, plenty, plenty bait. Most of the areas that we fish in are anywhere from two and a half to five feet of water. You know, sometimes you gotta get out a little bit deeper, maybe to seven feet, but as long as you're seeing these slicks like this or, or pogies popping, it's game on with these fish. That ought to be a fish there. Oh yeah, the fatty there. I mean, just like a linebacker, man. Look at that. Boom. Bowie Outfitters is your one-stop shop for all types of outdoor cooking. Tailgating? We've got Bayou Classic barbecue pits and King Cooker jambalaya pots. If frying's your favorite, check out R&B Works Cajun Fryers and Cajun Injector products to keep meat moist and flavorful. Black iron skillets are key in a southern kitchen, and Bowie carries a big selection of lodge cast iron, plus Bayou Classic pots for your next crawfish boil. Come to Bowie Outfitters and let us get you cooking. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. You put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. Managing wildlife is hard work, and Buckbuster's Seed Company understands. That's because we're hunters too. We've tested our seeds with science and developed a proven formula for attracting deer and turkeys. Unsure about what to plant on your food plot? Try our basic fall mix for hunting season success and our premium seed mix for year-round nutrition. Buckbuster's Seed Company, the most complete and cost-effective seed mixes on the market. What makes the PSE Carbon Air so revolutionary? The answer is PSE's true carbon technology, using a monocoque carbon construction technique never before seen in archery. The Carbon Air is built from a single structural carbon fiber shell, much like the body of an Italian supercar. PSE Carbon Air. Experience PSE. Experience performance. They need love too. So. Old bearded one. Yeah. I'm gonna put him in there. And you talking about some fine eating. <laughs> Woo! I mean. That's right. Some yep. good eating right oh, there. Oh man, I'm telling you. That right there is Captain Dave LeBlanc. Got the owner of Dead Reds Unlimited and also the vice president, which is Zachary Bergeron. And he got his little neighbor with him, his first bull red trip. And boy, they're having a blast. Look at him. You're Doubled son. and tripled up. Yep, my son is on the front of the boat and he's hooked up on a big bull, and Zach's on the back of the boat, he's got one in his hands. So, oh man, I can tell you, it's just, it's the most wonderful thing when you can come out here and watch your boys do the thing that they love to do, do the thing that you love to do, and knowing that they, 
are going to carry it on, you know. They must be coming out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so many of them. That's right. <laughs> Got a trap door and they keep opening up, letting out two or three of them at a time. I said I was a little worried about the trip this morning, so I got two divers out there hooking these fish on for us. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's drag them up here. Like during the slow period? I'm <laughs> casting maybe three times. Yeah. Much. Well, they spread out just enough to where you can catch a little bit of yeah, a Yeah, I need a break. I don't need one of these big suckers on every cast. Look at my boys over there. Are they there. netting something over, it look like? Oh, yeah. And they laugh, and everybody having a good time. You hear laughter everywhere. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Get a good workout every day just lifting them oh, 20 man. pounds at a time. Absolutely. These are my, yeah, these are my, my old. Get to my <laughs> get to my <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Go ahead. Do it. Just give us an Eddie Van Halen kick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's almost too, my guitar's outgrown me. Yeah. If catching